Anne-Marie Landman studies the effects of spatial disorientation in pilots. If you take away outside visual reference from a pilot, then he or she will really have to trust the instruments. Because if you don't have outside visual reference, then any sensation that you feel can be very misleading. Investigators hoping to prevent the kind of accident that caused Ara Zabayan to get so badly disoriented are looking closely at the work being done in labs like this one at the Netherlands Organization for Applied Scientific Research, or TNO. We investigate the effects of spatial disorientation on pilot performance. This rotating chair helps pilots experience the effect of the leans, the inability to recognize that you are in a steep turn. When a pilot starts a turn, the fluid in the inner air responds, and it's telling he or she is in a turn. But after a while, the fluid sort of settles, so it actually feels as if they're flying level again. This pilot is using his thumbs to show the direction he believes he's turning. For the first few seconds, he's right. But as the fluid in his ear settles, he no longer senses the turn. We train them here to really trust their instruments and to really be focused on their instruments, um, especially in situations of low visibility. But the heart of TNO's facility is this simulator called Desdemona. OK, so here's what's going to happen. So you just have to wait for our mark, uh, and then you just have to level the aircraft. But you have to do that without the instruments, so only based on your gut feeling. It's a disorientation demonstrator, which safely simulates the effects of pitch and roll illusions on pilots. It's the only one in the world. You're just going to fly a little bit to get acquainted with the controls, all right? All right so, uh, yeah, so you have the instruments available. Yep. OK, let's start the simulation. Unlike simulators that are attached to the ground, Desdemona can simulate unlimited degrees of pitch, yaw, and roll, as well as the forces of acceleration. It's really important to have a simulator that can really create a constant uh, force or constant force that feels like acceleration. Continue to climb. Continue and climb. Pilot Martin Kemna is about to experience the same sensation that Zabayan felt moments before the crash. The instruments in the simulator are turned off, so he must rely only on feel. Martin, how are you feeling now? Uh, I'm feeling straight and level. Let's uh, ramp up the acceleration and, and uh, see how that feels. Now we're starting the centrifuge and the cabin of the simulator is pointing towards the center. So for Martin, it actually just feels like he's accelerating forward. The acceleration causes him to mistake what is actually happening. OK, Martin, what are you feeling now? Uh, pitch up. And what do you think that the aircraft is doing now? Uh, we're climbing now. If you're accelerating forward, yeah, the little hairs in your inner ear will actually give a constant signal that is the same as if you're being pitched up. So can you now bring the nose back to level? Yep, sure. So you can see that he's bringing the nose below the horizon. For him, this actually feels level. So shall we show him the instruments? <laughs> oh my god, no 20 degrees nose down. OK, can you recover? <laughs> We hope that this helps them to recognize spatial disorientation when it occurs. Secondly, we also hope to teach them some skills that help them to manage spatial disorientation if it occurs. Wow. 